And you heard it here, vote for David Sparrow. <laughs> October 27th. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the William F. White TIFF Party in downtown Toronto. I'm here with David Sparrow. David, as someone who's running for City Councillor War 26, what does the Toronto International Film Festival mean to Toronto? Well, Katie, the, the TIFF Festival is always so exciting and there are so many great festivals that take place in Toronto and, and the arts has really become an integral part of our economy. You know, even film and television alone brings in $1.15 billion for the production every year and employs almost 30,000 people in the city. So it's not something that can be thought of as an afterthought. And, and TIFF TIFF is just this fantastic international spotlight on Toronto that makes uh, people aware of Toronto and so many great productions that are made here premiere at TIFF and many of the performers in Toronto, uh, you know, basically their careers get launched into the stardom here at TIFF. So it's a great legacy. It's been around uh, for, for a while, but it's really built into this international power source in terms of Canadian arts. And I, I'm so thankful to uh, be a part of it in terms of my industry, but even more so to, to just accolade all the people who put it together here in Toronto for the city of Toronto and how it, how it builds our industry. And can you tell me a little bit more the importance of prioritizing uh, the arts and filmmaking in particular as a financial decision uh, in terms of the economy? Well, absolutely. You know, few people recognize that the arts in Canada is now responsible for 7.6% of gross domestic product. It's in an $85 billion industry when you take in all the ancillary businesses, and it employs almost 1.1 million Canadians. Now, that's all of the arts. Again, this can't be an afterthought when you're sitting around thinking about budgets at the federal level, provincial level, or at the municipal level. You need to recognize that this affects tourism, it fills hotel rooms, it does so many great things for the city, puts so many people to work, and the salaries that are earned through these jobs, of course, buy everything that we use on a daily basis and support so many businesses. So it's really, and, and I'll say one last thing if I could. Canadian culture and Canadian voices are something we need to protect and we need to see more of our stories on our screens. It's so easy living next to the largest marketing machine in the world, the United States of America, to allow their voice to overshadow ours. And I think the opportunity through events like TIFF and through music festivals and other arts uh, festivals here in the city is just a great opportunity to advertise Toronto to the world and Canada to the world. And that's something I've been proud to be a part of for 25 years. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on uh, your run for City Councilor Ward 26 online? At uh, davidsparrow.ca. There's all kinds of information. We certainly welcome volunteers. Anybody who lives in uh, Bennington Heights, Leaside, Thorncliffe Park, Flemington Park, Winford Heights, these communities make up Ward 26. It's a vibrant area of the city, a diverse area in terms of culture and income. There's lots of challenges. I want to be a better local voice for them and an advocate for them. And then also also to put a strong film and television voice on City Council and make sure that we preserve this industry. Well, thank you so much. Uh, best of luck and have a great time this evening. Thank you, uh, and uh, you have, have fun at TIFF. Thank you. Okay. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the William F. White TIFF Party in downtown Toronto. And you heard it here, vote for David Sparrow. <laughs> October 27th.